Welcome back, Wildcat fans. Greetings. This is Marvin James. I'm with Coach Don Pittman with the Fort Valley State Wildcats Coaching Show featuring Coach Don Pittman. We're talking about the opening win of the season with Savannah State last Saturday. Coach, talk to us about that. How are you doing today, Marvin? Doing well, sir. Okay. Today is a good day because we had a good weekend. That's right. Yeah. Always good after a win. Yeah, make it very nice for us to prepare for the following week, for the next week. Uh, the most important thing about the game, what I really like about it is that we we had the opportunity to play six freshmen. And uh, they played a very important role. They stood up, the next man up. Uh, we didn't miss a drop. They got in and played well. Uh, Larry Matthews stepped in for Bernard Little. And... Uh, he played an excellent game on defense. Uh, he took most of the snaps, and he, he uh, maintained his position and done a very good good job. Uh, we turned the ball over seven times, and the defense went out there, and they had the proper attitude. They went out there and stopped the uh, Savannah State offense, and we didn't meet a beat. Mr. Beat, they only scored uh, really one time, and we, and we gave that to them. Other times, that we gave them the field position, they had short field. Well, that speaks volumes of, of the team and how they've improved from week one to week two. You have seven turnovers. You don't ever expect to win a ball game like that. And the thing about it, you know, you, not, we talked about the turnover takeaway last week. If you win that, you're supposed to win the game. We was fortunate enough that our defense went and took the ball away from Savannah State. Uh, just equal, made it equal. And so that's why I think we won that game. Uh, we had a little freshman that come in off, off, the, off the bench, and he started last week. And uh, he's, a, he's a starter now, and uh, we recruited him, and we was thinking that he wouldn't get a chance to play for two years. Right now, if you keep that pace up, he can be uh, probably one of the best defensive back ball through Fort Valley State, and that's saying a lot. That is saying a, a, a real lot about that. And he's still humble. That's all now. And uh, still working hard. Yeah. If he, and uh He's doing well in the classroom. If he maintained all of those things, sure. he'd be a great player. That's very promising. Um, I see about the uh, offense. It looks like you guys had a very balanced offense attack. Um, 243 yards passing, building on the big day you guys had with the State in week one, and also with the running game of 146 yards. Talk a little bit about that passing game. It looks like you guys were able to do what you wanted to do. Well, two, two weeks in a row, um, we played against a, a defense where the weakness was a secondary. And our guys that um they are maxed those guys back there and we got some openings and we uh, completed some passes. Uh, now we do have a, a quarterback problem. We have two good quarterbacks and they fight for that position and they playing well and uh, we're gonna see how they're gonna ride out. Right now we have to get a system where they both can play. Um, Malcolm could move to tailback, but then I don't want to get him injured. Right. So we're going to uh, let him stay at quarterback, and they're going to just fight it out and compete for the job. And I think it's it's, it's, it's nothing like competition. No. Uh, we have a good bunch of guys. We had uh, two freshman running backs. One freshman uh, didn't have good football shoes, and one just got a new pair, but his old shoes wasn't that bad. So he gave his competition, his new shoes. Oh, wow. And we said, what happened to your shoe? John Cherry said, I gave him to White. I said, what? <laughs> I said, I gave him my shoes. I said, that's good. That's good competition. Good. And uh, back and came to me uh, last night. He said, I had 24 hours to meditate by myself. And give it up. Give a job to Otis. You know, he played better. I said, that's just one game, maybe two games he did play, perform better than you. But compete for the job. And so on his own, he went out there and uh, he started playing with the scout team right, for the defense. And both those guys have uh, the personality and just work together. And that goes back with um, the defensive staff. We have uh, Coach Terry Jones, who's a defensive coordinator, but we have some young defensive coaches that he led. The young coach and he utilized his strength. We have some great young coaches, you know. We have Donnell Burks and Richard Jones, and they get in there and uh, they put the game plan together and they work together. There's no egos, and that's what's making us uh, so good right now. Now, I uh, wanted I see an in, in, uh, interception from Jamar Gilliard. That was one of the big, the big throws, wasn't it? He rumbled it pretty good ways <laughs> on that game. 
He wanted to be on the show today. Uh, I bet you did. He might be off to the deepest hockey champion. Yeah, he's a, he's a very gifted guy. He's a very good athlete. Uh, he's a long snapper, a deep snapper right yeah. now also. And he's played defensive end. He got the ball. He ran it all the way back. And he's just a good guy. And he's improving every snap. 79 yards. That's quite impressive. We have yes. to give him a shout out for that. I mean, that's going to be yes. commended on. Um, we also had some accolades this week. Obviously, you want the win, and that's what you're really going after. But whenever you can get your guys in the, into the, the national spotlight, um, when Draylon Free um, was a, a SIAC player of the week, offensive player of the week, talk about the performance he had on Saturday. The thing about Draylon, he, uh, he's from Columbus, uh, Carver High School. Yes, and uh, he was a starter there. And, uh, I don't know why he wasn't recruited uh, Division One, but he decided to come to school here. Uh, number one, he's high school coach. I uh, graduated from here okay. and, and played football here. And uh, he decided to come with us. He was here all summer, you know, uh, working out. And he's he's familiar with the system. We knew he was going to be good, uh, but we didn't think he was going to have a breakout season so fast. And uh, uh, that's what he's having right now. Uh, we hope that he can maintain his grades and also his work His work ethic. He's a very hard worker and he had a very good game and uh, the sky's the limit for him. And, and that's the thing about it with all these freshmen and the way they produce him. Uh, my eyes are burning because the future is so bright, you know. Uh, we, we, we can be a very good team now and years to come. As we get ready to wrap up this segment, talk again about last week, we touched on this a little bit about the, um, the giant killer, so to speak, of Savannah State being a larger school, a larger program, and what this means for for Fort Valley State to be able to get that win over uh, a larger program that's in the FCS division. Think about Savannah State. Uh, they was looking forward to the following week. They just uh, assumed that it was going to be a one and only victory, uh, and they had marked it down, but uh, you always play, that's why you play the game on Saturday. Right. And, uh, it's good to win the game. It's a very big win for us. And we don't want the same thing to happen to us. We don't want to say, well, we, we had one big game. Uh, let's look past Clark. Clark is very important. The uh, score last year was 12-9. Uh, they had the ball on the two-yard line, uh, and we stopped them. And we was fortunate to leave out there with a victory. So this year, uh, we're going to prepare for them, and we're going to go in with the attitude that we are uh, one and one, and we need another victory. That sounds great, folks. Well, thanks for talking to us about Savannah State. We'll be right back after the break. What is Fort Valley State University? It's more than students, more than faculty. It's more than brick and mortar buildings or a sports team or a mascot. Fort Valley State University is belief in a dream and the promise of education and the ability to overcome adversity. Fort Valley State is believing in your own potential and knowing that your contributions on this earth make a difference. Fort Valley is opening your mind to new possibilities and embracing a world of change without fear. What is Fort Valley State University? It's not living in the past or being content with the present. It's all of us working together to be better tomorrow than we are today. We are strong. We are proud. We are determined. We are Fort Valley State University. Welcome back, Wildcat fans. I'm Marvin James, sitting here with freshman cornerback Corante Dawson. Talk to us a little bit about um, how you're enjoying life here on Fort Valley State campus. Fort Valley is really nice, you know. I love the family base around here. Everybody just loves, like, you know, I could easily be a freshman that does, doesn't know my life or whatever, but everybody just keeps me around, keeping me up and tell me just keep making plays or whatever. So I'm just here to to give my all to Fort Valley because when I was down, you know, they came and picked me back up. Okay. One of your unique connections to um, Fort Valley, the, the city, is that you were coached by Jack West Green, who is a native of Fort Valley, who went to Peach County. Did he ever talk to you about the school? Yes, sir. When I signed, he told me about the school. He told me he was going to make sure I was set straight when I'm here or whatever because, you know, it's his community. So, I mean, 
Yeah, I love Coach Payne. You know, he made me a better player and a better person. Okay. Now, the first two weeks of the season, you guys faced a pro-style offense with Delta State and, and Savannah State. This week, it's a little different. You know, you're going against that wing T offense. It's, it's more of a offense that you do see, you know, primarily in high schools. Talk about how that's going to change up your game from covering to, to really being disciplined and, and, and not necessarily making a lot of plays on the ball, but necessarily making a lot more tackles in the box. Um. Well, our game plan is really I'm still going to be on the island just covering, so I got to make sure that man doesn't get behind me because any time right. they can go deep, so I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to stay disciplined with my own, with my crowd, but as my other teammates, they're going to make sure that they do well and stay disciplined and control everything in the box okay. and limit the big plays. Now, how excited are you to be able to open up the um, conference play at home as you guys get ready to get some of your goals intact as far as um, playing for a conference championship? I'm really excited. I, I just really feel like we're going to have a great team, and I feel like this is one step closer to what I dream is, and that's to get that on ring. Be a committed cat, right? Yes, sir. That's right. All right, well, that's Karanjay Johnson, a cornerback here, freshman from Fort Valley State. We'll be right back. Being a Wildcat takes courage. Fear is not an option on the field. Being a Wildcat takes belief. Doubt has no room under a helmet. Being a Wildcat takes dedication. The goal is to bring home a championship to our FVSU family. It's been a long time coming, but the time is here. The team is focused, excited, and ready to get this season started to show just how good we are. Season tickets are on sale now at WildcatTicketOffice.com. I love my FBSU because it makes me feel at home. It's the only school that gave me a chance. I love it because of the diversity in the students. I love my FBSU because they recognize my skills on the football field. I am FBSU. 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 So, welcome back to Wildcat fans. I'm Marvin James. I'm here with Larry Matthews, Deacons of Honor for Fort Valley State. University, talk to us a little bit about um, how it is for you to be able to play here. Uh, we're really just excited to uh, be back because I'm really just like I'm at home because I live 15 minutes away in uh, Taylor County. So sure. just to come be a part of this program, you know, I grew up watching. So right. I'm very excited to be a Wildcat. Good thing, good stuff. Now you transferred from Georgia Southern, but like you said, you're back here. Are you finding yourself um, more at home on the football field? You have a uh, really come out game. This past week with Savannah, talk about that a little bit. Uh, yes, sir. I, I feel right at home. Like I said before, uh, just excited to be back. And then, that uh, all my players are going to stay too, because I just wanted to show that I can still play, you know. Show Coach Pitt that, you know, I can be a starter too. Right. So, just the overall game for me. Now, you, you're able to watch, but I know who is, is, is that all the accolades and you're able to do so much. So, what are you able to learn and take from him out here on the field? I can take a lot of, um, he's showing me, uh, showing me basically how to um, play the gaps, you know, be technically sound and everything. You know, he's a hard work also, so just learning from him, you know, really helped me out when I came back here. Okay. Now, Saturday night, 6 o'clock, you guys take on Clark at home. You guys are number one in the East right now. How exciting is that? Because I know you're going to have plenty of fans here, plenty of folks from the, from the crib here to watch and play. Um, what do you hope to be able to show them and what um, the little goal are going to be able to do? I'm, I'm excited because like a lot of people are already on call and told me they're coming to watch the clock at another game. So just basically I'm just gonna put on the show and be doing what we've been doing. So just play a good game, you know, gonna get another W. Okay. Larry Matthews part of that blue death defense for Valley State. We'll be right back. Being a Wildcat takes courage. Fear is not an option on the field. Being a Wildcat takes belief. Doubt has no room under a helmet. Being a Wildcat takes dedication. The goal is to bring home a championship to our FVSU family. It's been a long time coming, but the time is here. The team is focused, excited, and ready to get this season started to show just how good we are. Season tickets are on sale now at WildcatTicketOffice.com. Welcome back, Wildcat fans. I'm Marvin James. I'm here with Taylor Head, because of back Fort Valley State from Covington, Georgia. Taylor, talk to us about um, some of the success you've had on special teams this year, especially last week with Savannah State. Uh, I just had to take, take, take hold, hold of my opportunity. 
and take the best on opportunity to go down and make plays. So we try to set our defense up in the best position possible. Because if we uh, get them down inside the 20 and the 25, they got to travel 80, 80 something yards of score. And if we stop them early, the same thing on punt team, we stop them way back, then it gives our defense in that position. Okay. Now you're a senior, right? And you had seven tackles, five solos. So that's a, a pretty good showing out there against the United States. What, what made that uh, kind of work easy for you um, in week two? Uh, I had my grandmother come to the game. Okay. And it's the <laughs> often that she comes to the game. Okay. And so when she came to the game, I tried to put a good, good show on for my family. And then also uh, try to uh, help, help my team out any way I can. Do you guys feel like you were in kind of a, I wouldn't say a desperate need for a win, but, you know, wanting to get that win, that first win of the season on the road? Uh, you can call it this because we needed to win. We couldn't go into the uh, going to conference over two, and we wanted to we wanted to win is to get out and to hype us up, get us momentum going into the conference so we can uh, finish strong. Now Saturday night, six o'clock. You know how important it is to start the conference playoff with with a win, and, and typically you guys always start off with Park Atlanta. That's always the, the, the measuring stick for you. What are you looking forward to in this game um, against the Panthers? First and foremost, a win, and then there's just uh, everybody playing responsible, doing it, being disciplined, and playing as a team. Yeah. You know, we're going to have a lot of tackles this week. They're going to run that oh, ball yeah. a lot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. We're here with Taylor Head. We'll be right back after the break. Hello, my name is Dr. Joshua W. Murphy, Jr., and I'm the Director of Intercollegiate Athletics here at Fort Valley State University. Our mission here is to provide experience for scholar-athletes that will advance the university's general mission. We seek to provide diversified and challenging programs to meet educational needs resulting from societal changes to provide learning and living environments that enable our graduates to become innovative and critical thinkers, problem solvers, and responsible citizens. This fall, we're looking forward to our Wildcat football season and our men and women cross country and volleyball season to begin in September. Our men and women basketball season begins in October. And of course, our Wildcat cheerleader squad cheering us on throughout the season with their great school spirit. Facilitating our fall sports will be our Wildcat Stadium, which opened in 2009 and seats 10,000 fans. In 2013, our attendance reached over 24,000. Also, our HPE Basketball Arena, built in 2004, seats 5,500 fans. With our new additions to the HPE Complex is our wall of wisdom. We look forward to seeing you at all our sporting events here at Fort Valley State University. For more information, go to www.fvsusports.com. Welcome back, Wildcat fans. I'm Marvin James, sitting along with Coach Tom Pittman. We're going to talk about this upcoming week. Um, we're taking on the Clark Panthers, and, and it's a big opening week for the SISC Conference. Can you talk about that a little bit, Coach, and what's your expectations? Uh, coach Western, the head football coach for Clark, he's in his second season. Uh, he's a young coach. He's a very good coach, and I think he's going to be very successful at Clark. Uh, they play a wing team. Offense is very, very unique. They're the only team uh, in the conference that utilizes wing T offense. So we have to prepare all week for them. And uh, they uh, they block legally. Uh, they cut block. And that's something we have to work on also. And we hope we don't get very many injuries because they are always cutting and they do a good job at it. Uh, defensively, the good part about it, we're we, we will see the same defense the third week in a row. They run a 34 defense, uh, and that's something we saw in Delta State and Savannah State. Okay. So they have, we have the same thing this week, so it gives us the same preparation, really, the same offensive scheme we have used. So, yeah. okay. Talk a little bit about that wing team again. You have to figure a lot of defense on um, discipline on defense because there's a lot of misdirection following this guy and on that. Um, what are some of the things you guys are going to coach up in practice this week? Well, we're going to load the box up for sure. Okay. And uh, we're going to have eight people, uh, sometimes nine in the box, and it's responsibility. Somebody be responsible, responsible for the fullback, the dive back, the quarterback, the pitch back. But the most important thing, the cornerbacks or the safeties cannot be lowered to sleep. They have to be alert because they will uh, play action pass. They may not pass the ball uh, more than 10 times a game. But they usually get two or three good plays, big plays off the passing game. Okay. Now, 
with with Carvin this being the opening game of the conference, how <coughs> important is that to start off the conference on a winning note? It's uh, very important for us. Right now, we're one and one. Mm -hmm. uh, we need this win. Uh, we need to increase the plan, support, and spirit of school, and it's big for us. If we win this game, I think it'd be the turning point for us. And plus that, it give uh, young players uh, enough more experience, you know, and uh, confident build. So we need to win and win convincingly. Now, um, we just talked about in the previous segment with you that uh, you're having a lot of battles in different positions on the offensive side of the ball. Talk about how that's going to benefit you going into this weekend, the quarterback in and the running back position. It will because competition at practice is different from last year. These guys out there, they're competing, and uh, they're working hard, and uh, every, every snap uh, is very important for them at practice because they get just so many snaps in the practice, and it's high tempo, and we're moving along, and uh, trying to make corrections, and but they they competing, but yes, it's, yet it's still uh, they doing it in a very uh, good team building mode. Now this is a home game, so how excited are you to be able to to get the crowd ready for this big matchup as well? Once again, we're trying to also uh, increase and improve our wildcat uh, walk, which is at two o'clock. Uh, when we take the walk in from the cafeteria in front of Woodward Gymnasium into the new student union. And, uh, we only had two people there last week. It's going to be better this week because I know we're going to have more than 100. We're trying to push for 100. Right. And so as we try to get people out of the dormitory, try to get people from the community into the stadium, so we're going to uh, play the same football and uh, try to uh, in increase the whole uh, attendance. And, and those are the little things that, that are important to the whole team building process as far as getting the community involved because you guys aren't just playing for each other, you're playing for Fort Valley State of the whole correct? Correct. You know, we was in Savannah, we did get a chance to uh, have a pre game meal with some alumnus and uh, they taught some of the old sons, and young guys they didn't know and they were saying uh, down in the valley, you know, uh, we uh, we will get a victory. So right. we're gonna learn that song and we're gonna sing it uh, doing that, that wildcat walk at the end. We're gonna um, have you sing that a little bit next week for No, you. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, coach. And lastly, I guess as you as you were winding up the week for uh, the practice schedule, what are some of the uh, I guess the uh, the on the agenda for the rest of the week um, as leading up to to the um, getting on Saturday night. Well, we, uh, we have the same practice schedule. Uh, we hope to have a hay in the barn on, on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is that's mostly special team practice, and we have a, a belt rally uh, Friday afternoon at 6 o'clock. And then uh, we all going to be staying in dorm, dormitories together. And Saturday, we get ready to play. All right. going to be a good one. 6 o'clock at New Wildcat Stadium. We're excited about that. I'm Marvin James, the coach Don Pittman. Thank you for joining us for the show. We look forward to seeing you on the sidelines on set. What is Fort Valley State University? It's more than students, more than faculty, it's more than brick and mortar buildings or a sports team or a mascot. Fort Valley State University is belief in a dream and the promise of education and the ability to overcome adversity. Fort Valley State is believing in your own potential and knowing that your contributions on this earth make a difference. Fort Valley is opening your mind to new possibilities and embracing a world of change without fear. What is Fort Valley State University? It's not living in the past or being content with the present. It's all of us working together to be better tomorrow than we are today. We are strong. We are proud. We are determined. We are Fort Valley State University.